Hallelujah, Judah. Yahuwah, Imakim. And blessings to all listeners. I am Maury Shiloh, coming to teach the Luke 24, 44 through 47, Deception. Luke 24, 44 through 47 says this. He, Jesus, said to them, Remember when I was with you before, I said that everything written about me must happen. Everything in the law of Moses, the books of the prophets, and the Psalms. Here, the New Testament Gospel of Luke, it says that Jesus Christ told his followers that all things that was written about him, which must happen, is found in the law of Moses, that's the Torah, the books of the prophets, and the Psalms. Please notice, not one book of the New Testament is mentioned. So according to the New Testament Gospel of Luke, it is the Holy Torah, prophets, and Psalms which are the only sources where all things which were written about Jesus Christ are to be found. Luke goes on and says, Then Jesus opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. Here Luke confirms a second time that the holy scriptures are in fact the Torah, the books of the prophets, and the Psalms. Luke goes on and says, He, Jesus, said to them, It is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Here, in the New Testament, Luke says that Jesus said, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead the third day, as it is written of him in the scriptures, which he confirms to be the Holy Torah, the books of the prophets, and the Psalms. Luke goes on and says, And in Jesus' name, the message about repentance and the forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. The question is, where is it written in the Holy Torah, the books of the prophets, or the Psalms? that Jesus the Christ would suffer and raise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins must be preached in Jesus' name, starting at Jerusalem. Now this is a deception for anyone whose convictions are based in the New Testament. In a spirit of love, respect, and humbleness, I challenge anyone to present where it is written that Jesus the Christ would suffer and raise from the dead the third day and that repentance and forgiveness of sins must be preached in Jesus' name, starting at Jerusalem. The only goal to this challenge is that life-changing truth may be known. And please, no eisegesis or interpreting biblical texts in a way as to introduce 
your own theological assumptions, agendas, or biases. In other words, no reading into the biblical text. Just answer in a spirit of honesty and truthfulness. Is it written? Yes or no? Ibarakaka Yahuwah. Keep walking with y'all and stand firm on his word. Stay faithful today. Hallelujah, Jesus.